Introducing the innovative GyroLock fitting from Hoke, the logical choice for safety and reliability. Whether you are an engineer, technician, or manager, for whatever application you have for instrumentation tube fittings, you'll appreciate the benefits in specifying and using the very best design available, GyroLock. We invite you to participate in a demonstration of the proper techniques to assemble and reassemble GyroLock tube fittings. At Hoke, instrumentation is our core business. Selecting, applying, and validating tube fittings can sometimes be a complex process. By following the correct procedures shown in this instructional video, you will ensure a safe and reliable connection every time. First, you will need an appropriately sized wrench for tightening the nut onto the body of the fitting. Next, either a backup wrench or vise to stabilize the body while tightening the nut. And finally, a fine-tipped permanent marker. It is highly recommended to use a validation tool as well. Hoke provides two options for you to consider. A depth insertion tool called the GMT or the gyro gauge called the GG. Both tools provide the technician with an economical means of ensuring the presence and correct orientation of the ferrules, proper tubing insertion into the fitting, and sufficient tightening. It is also handy to have the Hoke Pocket Fitting Installation Manual to use as a reference tool. Let's review the components that make up a gyro lock assembly. You have a nut, a rear ferrule, a front ferrule, a body, and tubing. Verify the tubing you are using is correct. Check that the material, diameter, and thickness for your application is appropriate using the published tubing data charts, which can be found on our website at www.hoke.com, as well as in your fitting installation manual. Proper tubing preparation requires good handling techniques and the use of a good quality tubing cutter and tube bender. Your local Hope distributor can provide more information on this subject. Ensure that the tubing being used is free of debris and has no external scratches or dents. Inspect the tubing ends, confirm the cut tubing has a clean flat edge, and check for roundness. Employ an internal and external deburr tool to remove any burrs that may be present. To create the validation line, insert the tubing end completely into the GMT until you bottom out the tubing. The sizing angle in the fitting itself will remove variation for the various tubing diameters available, as not all nominal tubing has the same OD. With your permanent marker, mark the tube around the complete circumference at the point where it just emerges from the tool. Remove the tube from the tool. Gyrolock tube fittings are delivered complete and ready for installation. However, it is always good practice to ensure that all components are present and in their correct positions. To do this, slightly loosen the fitting nut and firmly insert the tubing. Then continue to loosen the nut and allow the ferrule set to slide back on the tube. Ensure both ferrules are present and properly oriented. The larger front ferrule should have the pointed edge towards the body. The smaller rear ferrule will have its pointed edge toward the back of the front ferrule. Then the nut should follow behind the rear ferrule. Once ferrule orientation is verified, slide them back into place, tighten the nut to finger tight, and remove the tubing. Simple procedure for sizes under half inch or 12 millimeter in brass, stainless steel, and Monel. To begin installation, stabilize the fitting body using the vise and completely insert the tubing into the fitting until it is fully bottomed out. Next, hand tighten the nut onto the fitting body to finger tight. The validation line on the tubing you made using the GMT should not be visible at this point. Using your marker, make a line at the 6 o'clock position on the back of the hex nut. This reference line will allow you to see precisely how many turns you have completed during installation. Now, with the fitting body stabilized and the nut finger tight, use your wrench to tighten the nut one and a quarter turns from the 6 o'clock position. Gyrolock nuts, with the exception of brass, are silver plated to deliver a smooth, non galling motion. As you travel completely around past the 6 o'clock position and approach one and a quarter turns, you should feel a sharp rise in torque. The reference line should now be at the 9 o'clock position. If the fitting is properly tightened a minimum of one and a quarter turns, the validation line on the tube will now be visible out the back of the nut. 
There may be a slight gap between the back of the nut and the line. The visible validation line confirms the presence and proper orientation of the ferrules and that the proper makeup procedure of one and a quarter turns has been followed. You have now made a robust leak tight connection that will exceed the rated burst pressure of the tubing. Advanced procedure for severe service applications and superior alloy metals. For smaller fittings, beginning the procedure from a finger tight condition is enough. For harder exotic alloy materials and severe service applications, we want to begin the tightening procedure from a tube tight condition. Tube tight is defined as the point beginning where the tube will no longer rotate and has zero axial movement. Tighten the nut until a tube tight condition is achieved. Verify the tube will not twist, turn, or pull out. Now that we are at a tube tight condition, apply the same simple procedure. As before, use your marker to make a line at the 6 o'clock position on the back of the hex nut. Now using your wrench, tighten the nut one and a quarter turns from the 6 o'clock position. You should again feel a sharp rise in torque. Confirm the reference line should now be at the 9 o'clock position. The validation line on the tube will now be visible out the back of the nut with a slightly larger gap than in the original fitting makeup due to starting at a tube tight condition. Installation is now complete. One benefit of the unique gyrolock design is that it can be remade many times, saving you valuable time and expense. The controlled ferrule drive and the sizing angle avoid the risk of over tightening which allows for multiple remakes. Tubing ended valves can be easily reused and need not be thrown away. To remake a fitting, loosen the nut and pull the tubing and ferrule assembly from the body. Then reinsert the end component into the fitting body and tighten the nut until finger tight. While supporting the fitting body, use a wrench to tighten the nut until a sharp rise in torque is felt, then snug it tight. Typical reassembly requires approximately a quarter turn from the finger tight position. The use of a manual presetting tool, PST, it's suggested when the insulation is in a hard to reach location, making it difficult to access and count the turns. Use the manual presetting tool by following the appropriate instructions for initially setting ferrules using the PST in place of the fitting body. By presetting the ferrules, installation in place simply requires following the gyrolock remake instructions. Safety changers provide the instrumentation technician a safe, efficient, and convenient way to reuse existing fitting bodies and valves with new components. They come in a handy tube, already correctly oriented on an arbor for convenient transport, use, and storage. The SCNF contains five sets of nuts and ferrules, while the SCF contains ten sets of front and rear ferrules only. They are also color coded so you can differentiate between materials and between metric and fractional. Let's take a moment and review the key items from this installation video. Preparation. Prior to beginning, make sure you have the proper tools, components, and reference materials handy. Inspection and validation. Make sure that the tubing is free of burrs and scratches, is round, and cut squarely. Use a validation tool such as a GMT to verify a robust connection. Assembly. Initial setting of ferrules involves one and a quarter turns of tightening from either the finger tight position for small diameter tubing or the tube tight condition for large diameter tubing and superior alloy materials. Remake of previously tightened fittings requires a one quarter turn from finger tight position. The Gyrolock tube fitting design features offer unique advantages that are unmatched in industry. We feel it is the safest, most reliable design available. Let's review the key benefits. 1. The controlled ferrule drive and the sizing angle avoids the risk of over tightening and allows for multiple remakes. 2. The butt seal provides an extra level of protection against leaks. 3. The high tolerance NPT thread specification ensures maximum thread engagement for a safer, more robust connection. Thanks for taking a few moments to review the process for proper installation of a gyrolock fitting. For more information, contact your local authorized Hope distributor today.